Hi Leo, how's it going? Welcome back to my channel, Universal Intuition. Just for Leo, we have a little guest over there. Mala made her way <laughs> over there. Not for any other sign, just for Leo, so y'all should feel special. Um, anyways, welcome back to my channel. If you're a returning, uh, if you're a re returning subscriber, if you're new to my channel, hello and welcome. Thank you all so much for being here. Again, this is going to be your June general reading for Leo, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. As per usual, we'll be doing an extended version of this reading where we take a look at the other person you're dealing with, your partner, your soulmate. Uh, could be new love coming in for some of you. We're looking at their side of things, how they feel about you, y'all's mutual connection, all that good stuff. The link is in the description box. If you're interested in a personal reading, my business email is also in the description box and my Instagram. I'd love for y'all to come over and say hello. It's universal underscore intuition, okay? Leo, 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 what's going on? So um, before we get into the tarot, I pulled an oracle card and I already meditated and pre-shuffled the cards just to kind of save a little, little bit of camera time. And y'all got the beautiful, this is from Nature's Whispers, by the way. This is the back of the cards. Some of y'all ask. That's the back with the butterflies. Gorgeous. And y'all got number 13, Renewal of Peace. Renewal of Peace. Three and one is four. This is about your foundation. Being at peace in your home. Being at peace not only in your physical home where you live, but the home that we have within our own selves is what I'm really picking up on you know this is like a little baby child with wings on so this is some childhood um, you know healing here coming back to the self the inner child nurturing taking sweet 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 care of oneself going take going the extra mile to nurture yourself give yourself time to rest heal okay really coming back to a place of peace and at the bottom of the deck also for you Leo, y'all got the perfect setting, which is gorgeous. I really don't know if this one's come out in quite a long time. Card number nine, which is about something ending, you know, wrapping up a chapter in your life. So I kind of see like how this vibe, Leo, y'all could kind of be in that like spring cleaning type of vibe right now where I see some of you kind of redecorating, maybe rearranging the bedroom or, you know, putting on a fresh coat of paint or, you know, it's like, you know, the sun is coming out. We're upon the summer months for a lot of us and some of you could be like rearranging the patio furniture adding some plants getting the lighting perfect you know just setting up a beautiful surrounding in your home so that you just feel com uh, comforted you feel alive you feel warm and you just feel totally tapped in and at peace beautiful energy all right and uh also in your pre-shuffle in the tarot you'll have the eight of cups okay so i feel like you're preparing sorry I have a I've also been really sick by the way sorry I have a, a cough drop in my voice is a little raspy so pardon that um anyways I'm feeling feeling great I'm feeling a lot better it's just my voice is still kind of on the mend so pardon me who's that oh seven of swords yeah y'all been dealing with someone shady someone who is or for you Leo you're avoiding something, someone or a situation that's been kind of shady. So you're kind of coming back to you, healing, nurturing the self, and getting prepared to move forward in something. That Eight of Cups. Moving on. I'm moving on, right? Woo. All right, we've got three more shuffles, and then we'll get into the tarot. Leo, how are y'all doing? How are y'all doing? Hello. Cards are popping for Leo. Woo! All right, we got one more shuffle. This is for Leo, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. June 2019. All right, Leo, what do we got going on? Four of Wands in reverse. Some of you have, you know, could be going through a difficult time in the home life. Again, we see the card number four or the number four. 
Okay, so some of you are definitely, this is a part of your theme for the reading. There could be a disconnect in the home with someone that you share a home with, with a partner, with a soulmate. Okay, and some of you have even already separated or disconnected, or some of you could even be going through a divorce or separation at this time. Okay, and that's why it's extremely important for you to feel good here and good in your in your safe place, which is your home, where you lay your bed, where you lay your head at night, your bed, right? Like your bedroom space, just making sure everything is set up and feels super comfy for you. It's really, really important for this month, okay? All right, let's get a current energy for Leo. Yes, yes, you can do it. My voice is literally on the rocks, but... I still have to sing. I don't know why I feel very singy with y'all. Y'all have the magician. This is your empowerment card. You can do it. You know, justice at the bottom of the deck in reverse. Yeah, some of y'all are going through some legal turmoil or you feel that something didn't work out in your favor. You feel kind of shortchanged on a situation. Okay, but you're rising above. You're looking at the light here. There's a lot of yellow. This is about sunshine, joy, that vibrant, you know, energy, Leo energy, right? Okay, you have got all the tools here already set, ready to go. You've got this. You've got this. You've got the power to move forward. You know, you're moving forward. You're moving on. And anything that you feel that you want to make happen, if it's a new relationship, a new connection, adding more friends to your circle, you know, if you want to redecorate the home, if you want to buy a new home, if there's a new job you want to go get, whatever it is that you want, my loves, you got it. You, you have the power to make it happen. <clears throat> I've been calling the magician card lately the empowerment card. Like, empower yourself. You know, Leo, y'all have a really, um, y'all don't really have a problem with that. You know, you're usually very action-oriented. And this is just a reminder of how powerful you really are. Okay? Hermit in reverse. Ah, uh, Virgo and Leo. My goodness. We've been seeing this kind of come in and out, I feel like, as a theme the past couple of months. And some of you are releasing a Virgo. For a good amount of you, you're releasing the Virgo because they're not bringing you happiness. They're not bringing you joy anymore, right? Page of Cups in reverse. You're not hearing from this Virgo or um, from whoever it is that you were hoping to hear from in a romantic way. And that's for the good. And we have the Ace of Swords that fell out as well with the world card beautiful okay leo so what i'm picking up with these first couple of cards out is this is you strong vibrant happy new ideas new perspective okay a, a restart i'm hearing like engines room like I'm, i cleaned up my car it's like you know i'm getting ready for the weekend i clean my car it looks good i got in my best outfit boom and i am ready to jam i am ready to go and i am unstoppable y'all are i'm hearing unstoppable force right now leo so more power to you and you are completing a cycle bottom of the deck there is oh the high priestess and the ten of pentacles and the ace of wands oh my gosh Wow. And the queen of wands. Y'all are just making it all happen, right? Your intuition has been telling you for a while that there's someone in your surroundings that is got to go. And even if they're not a Virgo, this is someone that's just been, you've been kind of back and forth, you know, maybe this is a romantic person for some of you or a friend or family member. And you were hoping to, for some of you, you were like, I don't know, should we spark something up again? Nah, nah, you're better than that, Leo. Okay, and by you either turning that person down for if they, if they like keep coming around and trying to text you or send you like romantic offers or flirt with you or like, Leo, come on, let's like make this work. You're like, it's like you're showing them the hand. You're like, eh, no, I already gave you enough chances. You know, this cycle is done. You know, I'm out of here. I'm out of here. Look at you go. Get it, Leo. <laughs> Too many cards fell out. All right, Spirit, what other messages do we have for Leo? Leo, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. This is for June, please. King of Cups in reverse. Justice in reverse. Could be dealing with a water sign or Libra for some of you. 
tower, right? So I feel like if you would have gone back to this person who has been trying to slowly come back, yeah, they might have grown up a little bit. They've been, they're going from page to king of cups. So I feel like through the month of June, you might see them kind of grow up and work on themselves a little bit. But overall, Leo, you're never going to forget how they did you wrong, right? They could have taken something from you. Y'all could have had some shared property or had some kind of contracts together to some degree. And you got the short end of the stick. And you're like, you know what? If I gave them that, that not just three chances, it's like I would have given them another chance, like a fourth, fifth, sixth, tenth, hundred... If I would have given them that hundredth chance, literally, it would have been, boom, tower crashing down and it would have put you in like this, I just think, I just feel like your world would have been completely flipped upside down, but not for the good. The tower is usually a, a harsh change, but for the greater good for you. But I feel like this particular tower, like you're avoiding a tower moment because getting back with this person um, who has been trying to come back into your world is just going to continue to cause you an injustice okay they did you wrong and they know it and this is also you know their energy too king of cups in reverse is yeah they might have grown up they might have matured a little bit over the last couple weeks or months sure we'll give them that but overall they're showing up as the king of cups in reverse they are letting their surroundings they're letting their emotions get the best of them and leos don't play <laughs> leos don't play y'all feel and y'all have compassion and y'all are loyal but be, but because y'all are so strong in that way, you have a hard time tolerating someone who's just going to continue to screw you over, over and over and over. Like how much are you really going to take, right? So you're just kind of like, I gave you your chances. You're done. You're done. Ooh. <laughs> Leo. All right, let's get, we've got two more coming for Leo. Leo, sun, moon, rising, and Venus. Five of Wands, mm-hmm, under that Page of Cups. It's like they it's like they make an appearance or they show up at the same restaurant that you know you're at or, you know, like they know your routine or they know like where you're at or what you're doing or they catch you on social media and they try to like send you a message and immediately you're just like, I'm enraged, go away. <laughs> Temperance and reverse. Yeah, this per person puts you majorly out of balance. Temperance is about high vibrations, and this person literally brings your vibration down. Like, we don't want that. We don't want that. All right. Who is that? Nice. Nine of Pentacles. Very, very good. Bottom of the deck, we have the Five of Cups. Okay, so we're still emotionally, still, you know, shedding some emotions from the past. This five of Cups is a card of healing. Okay, look at that. Yeah, Hierophant at the bottom of the deck, and the Nine of Wands. Okay, so this person, or actually Nine of Wands is your energy. Some of you definitely could have been married, engaged, or in just in a very serious, committed relationship or connection with this person. And you're still healing and, and growing and expanding and trying to wash away the lesson, or, you know, wash away the experience, wash away what happened and take the lesson. And you're looking forward to those two of cups behind you. You're ready to turn around and grab those cups and you're going to keep trucking with the knight of pentacles you're going to keep going this is beautiful earth energy this is guardian angel energy you are protected guarded and being guided into a new direction because this is under the ace of wands we have a new idea and this is all about your new direction beautiful energy okay you're going to take things a little bit slower with this knight of pentacles energy um leo because you've been through a lot You've been through a tower moment. You almost got, went through a second tower moment and you're like, uh, uh no, mm, no, right? So I feel like for a lot of you, it's like, okay, time to come back, come back down. Let me get comfy back in my, uh, in my comfy space. Let me feel, you know, play the music I like to listen to, you know, do your feel good stuff, you know, sipping some tea, maybe writing some things down. Uh, watching your favorite shows, you know, whatever just makes you feel good, you know, maybe tapping into nature, going for a swim, do those things, filling your cup, right? And know that whatever direction that you're going in, you've, you've, you, you've got it, you've got it, Leo, you're rising above a lot quicker than you think. 
So empower yourself to keep keep your dreams alive and keep going uh, towards the goals that you want to achieve. Okay, Leo? So I'm going to go ahead and stop it there. We're going to jump into the other person, see how they're feeling, how they feel about you, y'all's connection, all that stuff. The link for that is in the description box below. Leo, I love y'all so much. I'm sending you all my love. I have a bunch of Leos in my life that I love and care about dearly. So sending all of you my love and I will see y'all soon.